When I was first elected as the mayor of the city of Cornell and attending my first public engagement session, there were a number of dignitaries that spoke before I did, and they recognized that we met and were standing on the traditional territory of the Latakodani people. I realized as I stepped up to the mic that as a mayor, I couldn't do that. As an MLA, I had done that, but as a mayor, I couldn't because the city of Cornell, both corporately and as a community, had not formally recognized the traditional territory of the Latako, had no partnership agreements or pro protocol agreements with any of our First Nations. And so I came back to Council of the Day and said, we need to remedy this. We need to begin the path of reconciliation with our First Nations, and we need to get to the point where we have true productive partnerships with all of our First Nations who call what we refer to as the North Caribou their traditional territory. So we began that process with Latako, uh, because the city of Cornell is literally built on the bones of the Latako people. Uh, they had a very, very large population here prior to contact, and that population was decimated because of the diseases that the settlers brought with them. That process, a two-year process of building a relationship with the Latakodeni, uh, ended up in the agreements and, and the gift exchange that are uh, depicted behind me here. We now have a formal protocol agreement with the Latakodeni, uh, we have exchanged gifts, and this gift here is a truth staff. Uh, and when Chief Lebrun was here to present it, uh, he made sure that we understood that we were all now compelled to speak the truth in our chambers uh, where I'm standing today. That protocol agreement has resulted in us having a formal way to engage each other in partnerships, and that's what we're doing now. Uh, we uh, jointly submit grants. Uh, we are working not only with Latako, but with Nazco, with Luskus, with Estela uh, on our community forest agreement. We look for every opportunity we can uh, to make sure that we are creating sustainable, resilient communities together here in the North Caribou. But the path to reconciliation is a long one, and it's going to be one that's going to be fraught with challenges. And we faced one of those challenges recently in our community uh, when uh, an incident uh, that occurred in one of our malls created uh, a backlash in the community and claims of racism. I think all communities, all organizations have uh, embedded racism. It's just part of our clash of cultures. So council uh, has taken it upon themselves to begin uh, the process of deepening our reconciliation procedures, our reconciliation agreements, uh, and we have agreed that we're going to be looking at signing on to the UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. We're going to be looking at the calls to action in the Reconciliation Commission's report. We're going to be embarking on a process of uh, anti-racism policy and strategy for uh, the city corporation and for our community as a whole. And we're going to begin to do some uh, racism sensitivity training, as well as deepening our understanding of the history and culture of the First Nations in our area. That last piece actually fits in with something we're doing strategically anyway and have been funded for, and that is to begin to tell the story of the Latako and the Southern Carrier Nations and Estela much better uh, on an ongoing basis to visitors and to residents uh, who live in the Cornell area. So that path to reconciliation is a path that we've been on for some time. Uh, the recent incident has simply caused us to double down. We have to do better, we have to move uh, quicker, and we have to deepen our relationships and our understanding of each other in order for us to all grow together uh, and to build sustainable, resilient communities together.